Oh, Cassandra, thwarter of thieves. I appreciate you bringing a high cost back to me, but I need to ask another favor. You need help fixing the liar. Perceptive, too. Look at it. Wood's gone soft, body splintered. It's toneless, toneless even. What can be done to save it? Crestis has been having this festival for years. The town is built around it. Of course, because instruments are as fragile as a poet's heart, there's a master lyre maker at Crefsi's port. Not too far away. And since it's been proven that nothing is safe on these hills, I'll need some muscle for protection. I can help you get there safely. The journey will be worth your while. Come now. I'm right behind you. I have many fond memories of this place. I've watched the port grow into a town, and a small gathering of friends grow into a massive festival. It's more home than home. Your true love is a liar, and your home is a poetry festival? You never wanted to settle somewhere? Oh, you sweet young child. My life isn't as simple as you make it out to be. I'm like Zephyros, needing to go where I please. I learned this the hard way. So you care only for yourself? If you only live your life for others, what's the point? You're nothing but a slave, a loyal beast at best. People can get hurt. If I had lived the life expected of me, traditional and domestic, I would have died, died inside. And like is not, thrown myself into the sea. I know what I need. Seems like the festival here is much less formal than the others I've encountered. Yes. Dionysus claimed our offerings to Apollo and granted us the gift of ecstasy. I can see why it would attract people from far and wide. Do not misunderstand. Hidden is one part of worship, but there are many here who dedicate themselves to the strings and to the verse. I see. Timiha, where are you? Who is making all that fucking noise? Ah, uh, the smell of the sea is almost enough to cover your stench, Timiha. Raxila, I've been gathering fruits to throw at you all week. High praise coming from you. I need a favor. Achaikos was kidnapped by some idiot and needs a new neck. This idiot? Sadly, there have been many idiots on this journey. I hired this muscle here to get a high cost back. Of course I can fix him. I am the best pair of hands you're going to find outside of Athens. Problem is, a high cost is a special boy. I have materials, but nothing worthy of putting him together. What materials do you need? I have what I need for the neck, but the old one took the strings and yoke out when it snapped. Ah, there's a crack running through the sound box. That needs to be replaced. What should I be looking for? Some use bone for the yoke and neck, but nothing beats wood, in my opinion. Strings are made from gut, and we could use a shell for the sound box. Those strings don't look like guts to me. They are. Just soaked for a long time and pulled thin. I'm sure you'll enjoy killing some legendary beast to help a high cost sing. I've seen some liars with turtle shells for the body. Not a lot of turtles on this coast, but a good sturdy conch should do the trick. What's a yoke? And what wood do you need to replace it? The yoke is the crossbar that all of the strings are attached to. Sure is. It needs to bend, so a springy wood is best. I think we all can agree on that. I will return with the materials to repair a high cost. are fierce animals. I'll gut them for Praxila. are enough 
guts for fixing a high cost. should be perfect for Praxila's liar. I have everything we need. Excellent. Give it here. Be careful with it. He like me better when I'm done. You always were too rough with your fingering. Well, that's the first complaint I've heard about it. There he is, looking more handsome than ever. You call this your best work? You're robbing me blind. Oh, shut up. And go deafen the masses with your wailing. Thanks for the help. Here's your drachmi. I need some time to put a high cost through his paces. I might need some help after, though, so swing by my tent when you have a minute. Sure, if I'm in the area.
Excellent. We team up once more. So we're a team now. Can I still expect to get paid? After my performance, Drachmi will be in no short supply. Trust me. You've dedicated your life to your art. You must have a lot to show for it. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Luckily, some have survived to touch people. Do you have any favorites? There's one I'm well known for that is very dear to me. The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. Then ripe cucumbers, apples and pears too. Sounds nice. But we should get going. So, cucumbers. The sun gives us the fruit of the trees like the fruit of aloes. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> Not me. Avernis. He's being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh. Why is he being asked this? Avernis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be fain to leave? I see. Looks like we've made it. Marvelous. Thank you. Look. It's Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila! Recite something for us. I've been reciting this poem for years. Cassandra, would you do me the kindness of allowing me to hear it anew from your lips? I couldn't. Nonsense. You know everything you need to do it justice. How about something new this year? The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Praise be Apollo! Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. This is one of my favorites. Then, ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears, too. That's always been my favorite verse. I'm happy my poem touched you so deeply, Cassandra. Have you thought about trading your spear for the lyre? I will stick to swinging swords, thanks. <laughs> 